Hey guys! Um, looks like we got a special surprise today. I totally forgot there could be a new banner because of Valentine's Day and everything. But look at this screenshot up here. This guy looks like he's a dashing young hero. Banner's called Enduring Legacy. So hopefully it's like some young lord that we know and love, like Hector or somebody. That would be really cool. But let's go ahead and watch it and check it out. See what we got here. Alright. Ooh, Night Defender. Oh, I like her design a lot. Okay, Anon. Genealogy of the Holy War. Okay. So it's a game that we've never got here in the US. Hopefully we will. I'm really hoping we do get Genealogy because it has Reinhardt. <laughs> Probably the main reason why, right? As fate wills. Okay, Youthful Flame. All right, I'm thinking this banner might be entirely genealogy because it's legacy. I'll yep. Find my own path. Azel, a red mage. Okay, Sparkling Tome and Dual Infantry 4. Nice. Nice. Come back and we'll take a look at those after we see everything here. All right, here's the axe user. Looks great. Lex, okay. Strong name, like Lex Luthor. Oh, oh my god, guys. A axe cavalry unit. That's actually strong, because he's new. We don't have a lot of strong axe cavalry units. We have a lot of weak axe cavalry units. Oh. Okay, she's... She's pretty, and look at those thighs. And unfortunately, she's a blue lance flyer. So it's kind of, it's one of the most common um, unit types is a blue lance flyer. But look, we get this new villain. Oh my god, I had to pause it for this. So that's kind of on the original book five trailer. Right? Those are the four units, so it doesn't look like there's a new unit. Maybe that boss unit's the new unit. Um, Lex is the one who's going to be four stars. Alright. And is this... Yeah, if you summon 40, you get one for free. Um, it looks like two of them are red. But first, let's go back and we'll take a look at a non-skill set. She's a red flyer with Unbound Blade plus, that means it's inheritable. Um, if unit is not adjacent to ally, inflict attack, defense minus five on flow, foe during combat and neutralizes bonuses to foe's attack defense, such as from skills like fortify, rally, so on and so forth. Okay, so it's kind of like, uh, this blade is really for raw stats. So if you have raw stats, um, really good raw stats, I know some of the tankier units do, then definitely use this one. And then we're gonna take a look at Azel here. He has some new skills. So first is Sparkling Tome, and I, I bet you this is the unique skill. Grants speed plus three. At start of combat, if foe HP is above 50%, so you wanna attack early on in the attack phase, Inflicts speed, resist minus six on foe during combat, and inflicts penalty equals to current bonuses. So a lot of the um, a lot of the beginner buff moves they kind of increase speed and resist, and this kind of neutralizes it and add it to your stat. So this is really good, sparkling tome. But here's here's the best inheritable skill: our dual infantry. A lot of the older infantry unit is going to need this. So at HP plus five, all other stats plus two. If unit is five star, level 40, um, the, the arena is gonna treat it as having um, 180. Kind of the, they used to have a special name for it, but I guess they're just calling unit stats as 180 in total, which is good because the higher your total units stats are for all your units, the better opponents you'll get and the more points you'll get for winning the battle. So it's gonna be really good skill to inherit um, if you're buffing kind of a older infantry unit. And definitely it's gonna gain you those arena points. Okay, now we have I once dropped an iron, iron Lex, I believe. 
Yeah. And he's gonna be four stars too. And I'm glad he's four stars because we need, we need guys, these cavalry axe units. So goddess axe, cool. Grants plus five defense, inflicts um, speed resist negative five on unit. Unit attacks twice. So this is a brave weapon, except it's an axe. So it's even better because brave weapons are really strong, especially if you have um, high speed or phantom speed. Um, you can attack twice most of the time. Repositions another valuable movement skill, but the goddess axe here is where it is. And he is cavalry axe unit, which we don't have a lot and we need them. Like um, D Dussel, I thought he was going to be axe unit when he entered because he was originally a great knight, but they gave him lance. So I'm glad this is cavalry axe. And then the equivalent of um, the dual infantry here, we have dual flying. So for the older flyers, um, let's say you're using. Cordelia, she's very popular because she has kind of the Brave Lance effect. Um, this will actually boost her skills. So I think that's that's going to be useful. She's going to be a useful arena unit. She's kind of a um, year one unit, so it's definitely going to help. Now, Celise Frost. This looks like a unique weapon. At the start of combat, if foe is above 50%, grants attack speed plus 6. So again, early attack phase. Um... If unit is within two spaces of support partner, unit and unit initiates combat, unit attacks twice. So it's a brave weapon without a penalty. All you have to do is be in the range of your support partner. I think this is really good. I think a lot of people are just going to pick her up based on her design. She's very kind of lewd here with the thighs. And a lot of people are going to pick her up with the th with the because of that. She has the Paula palette without the red it's just completely green and white kind of the alencia white so we'll see we'll see how many people um simp simp pull for her but i think this is really cool all in all guys i think it's a great unit it's a great banner and hopefully um you get one of these heroes if you do pull let me know which heroes you're gonna get thanks for watching guys have a good time bye